Welcome to Text the Nation. Okay. Joining us is Catherine Fantazzi, the CEO of Apollo Neuroscience. Thank you for joining us, Catherine. Well, thank you for having me. Tell us about Apollo Neuroscience. You're a Pittsburgh-based company making a splash at the Consumer okay. Electronics Show. Yeah, so Apollo is a technology that is a wearable, but uh, a wearable not like any other wearable you've ever tried. Most wearables <clears throat> track your health. Apollo actually helps change it. Um, and it was originally developed at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. Um, physicians and neuroscientists discovered that certain waves of vibration uh, can actually change the balance of the nervous system. And what that means is in the same way that meditation or deep breathing or getting good rest helps the body recover from stress, these vibrations can do so as well and measurably within just a few minutes. So this is a wearable. Describe it for us. Sure. It's about the size of an Apple Watch. It doesn't have a face. Um, it is just a small black pod with a metal uh, clip that holds it against the body, and you can wear it on your wrist or your ankle. Uh, very simple device uh, that's controlled with an app. So the app has uh, different programs that you can choose from, like, uh, for instance, if you want to wake up or you want to focus or you want to help yourself fall asleep. You can just pick a program, uh, and then the vibration will start on the device. It's interesting. I mean, there, there are wearables out there, have been for a little while, that uh, more or less tell us when we are stressed, <laughs> something we may already know. Um, you're taking a, a totally different approach. Well, it actually was very funny. It was when this research began in 2014. Um, we actually did a lot of research to see what would be the most useful uh, components of the technology. And for the most part, telling people that they're stressed out actually stresses them out more. <laughs> <laughs> so rather than, rather than do that, we wanted to create a solution um, that helps people because stress is a pretty big issue um, in the U.S., but you know, worldwide. Uh, and it's really impairing people's health, right? It makes it hard to focus at work. It makes it hard to be your friendly self with your friends and family and your kids. It makes it hard to sleep. And so <clears throat> recovery from stress is uh, really important. And we wanted to find a solution that people could use in the moment that they actually need it. Because a lot of these tools that we have for improving our health are either before or after, right? They're, you know, before you're going to have a stressful thing or after you're going to have a stressful thing, but they're not right there during the meeting or during the traffic or when the kid's crying in the back of the car or whatever it may be. Um, and so we wanted to create a tool that people could use really simply uh, that gave them more control over their stress so that they could have a better day. So step us through how it's, how it's actually used. You're wearing this on your wrist and then you have an app on, on your device. Step us through how to use it. Sure. So uh, you, let's say you um, wake up, you put the device on, uh, you want to wake up in the morning uh, without drinking so much coffee. Uh, you pick uh, an energy wake up program and let's say you set that to go on for 30 minutes, maybe 10 minutes, depending on what you need. Um, and then after the program ends, it turns off. Now, if you want to turn it back on, you can either with the buttons on the device or in the app. Uh, later on in the day, uh, you might have a meeting that's very boring uh, <laughs> or a lot of work to do that you don't necessarily want to <clears throat> sit down and do, or you may be really distracted and overwhelmed because you have so many things going on during the day. So you pick the focus program. Maybe the focus program you pick for half an hour. Maybe it's two hours, depending on how long you need to work. Um, but you'll press that on, and then the vibration program for that will turn on. And maybe later in the day on your way home or when you get home, um, instead of drinking as many glasses of wine, maybe you put on the relax mode. Um, and that helps get your body into this much more relaxed state, helps you unwind from work much faster. Um, and then you can put on a sleep program uh, of Apollo is that we're building in scheduling so that people can just schedule based on their day when different programs will start so that they don't even have to use the app. It just turns on automatically. I guess uh, you, you hear from a lot of skeptics who wonder, come on, can this thing really work? How, how effective is it? So it's very, actually was developed at the University of Pittsburgh uh, of Medical Center and uh, as a collaboration between them, a physician there and uh, the University of Pittsburgh. And what they actually, before this ever became a product, this was actually a research project to try to identify ways to help uh, patients cope with stress. 
Uh, and so we tried lots of different modalities. Um, Dr. David Rabin, who is a MD PhD, uh, developed this in concert with uh, Dr. Greg Siegel. Um, and they were just looking for ways to help people cope with stress. And they tried whole uh, different modalities, vibration, uh, electricity. And what they found was that these particular vibrations were having a very profound effect. And so before we ever <clears throat> even started developing uh, early stages of the technology, we actually did, at the University of Pittsburgh, did a double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled crossover trial. So they were trying to determine, okay, do these waves of vibration do anything different than other waves of vibration that we experience? Is there anything unique about this as opposed to, I don't know, a massage chair or our cell phones or any other kind of vibration that we experience? And what they found was in this task that they, task that they gave the participants, that when subjects had no idea what they were getting and they had uh, compared to placebo and no vibration, that the Apollo vibrations or what would become the Apollo vibrations actually had pretty profound effect within just a few minutes. So we saw that people's heart rates came down under stress, that their, their heart rate variability, which is an important factor for how resilient your body is to stress. If you don't sleep well or you're getting sick or you have chronic stress, your HRV can be low. Um, but you, in fact, actually want it to be high. Um, and what we found is that people's heart rate variability went up under stress about two to three times uh, their average within just a couple minutes, which is quite unusual. Um, and that this all correlated, all these changes in people's biometrics that we saw so quickly correlated with their subjective experience. So they said they felt better. And then they also did better on the task. And then subsequently, we've done additional trials with meditators meditators, people who totally naive, new to meditation with very experienced meditators. And we looked at their brain waves and we actually found that non-meditators brain waves uh, caught up to the meditators brain waves within about 10 to 15 minutes of a meditation session, which is quite unusual. Usually it takes decades of training to get there. Um, and then after we saw these results in the real world uh, or in, excuse me, in the laboratory, we were interested to see if they would be consistent in the real world. And so we built prototypes and we tested them about 2000 beta testers in the real world and found that we were getting consistent results in the real world. People were falling asleep faster. They were better able to focus. Their heart rate variability continued to improve and that they really enjoyed using the product. Um, the other important thing for us is we didn't want to create a product. So many people create a product that's addictive. Um, one of the developers, uh, Dr. Raven, is actually a psychiatrist who specifically focuses on addiction. And so he wanted to take a look to see, well, would this just make it so that you're dependent on it? And in fact, that's not what we find. What we find is that people use it a lot in the beginning, and then they begin to use it specifically for what they need the most help with. So for instance, if it's focus, uh, or if it's sleep, or if it's just more energy throughout the day, people use the product very differently. And that's one of the key components that we actually do with the software is we learn about you. And over time, the product becomes curated to you so that your version of the Apollo app is different than mine, based on what we need it for and what we use it for. So it's very personalized. But can one device be shared in, in the household, uh, pairing with with different people with different apps or is it one device per person kind of thing? It is right now one device per person for data security purposes so that nobody can, uh, you know, use your device, <laughs> but you can share it in a household um, if you're sharing it on an iPad or, um, but it's one account per device. Very interesting. It sounds like the kind of thing that employers might want to purchase for their employees or teenagers might want to buy for their parents. <laughs> where everybody wants to buy for whomever. Um, but yeah, uh, we actually have done uh, pilots in uh, high stress uh, workplace environments. So we did a, recently did a pilot with a nursing home facility in, um, in Pennsylvania. And then, ironically, we didn't put it on the patients. We actually put it on the nurses. Um, nurses have very high stress loads. They work um, shift work. So they're up, you know, 12, you know, 12 hour shifts. Um, and then they have to drive home and the, you know, notoriously um, nurses, you know, there's never enough of them and their workload is very taxing um, and it's hard. It's hard work. You're always on your feet. Um, and what we found is that their stress scores before they used the Apollo were quite high. Um, and then after uh, about two weeks of just using it however they liked, 
you know, so as I've described, they just use the Apollo um, for whatever they wanted to use it for. We actually found that their stress stores came down by about 40% within about two weeks. So people were sleeping better and they felt better at work. Um, so it's a pretty tremendous tool um, <clears throat> to be able to just take control of, you know, your stress level without having to drink so much caffeine or alcohol or, you know, whatever, it, whatever other tools people may use um, to try to get more energy and, and have more, um, more ability to get their rest that they need. So tell us about pricing and availability and how much it would cost to outfit every member of Congress. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, um, we're actually in the last week of our pre-order. So if you go to apolloneuro.com, that's A-P-O-L-L-O-N-E-U-R-O.com, um, you can get the Apollo for $199. Um, and in about a week or so, we're going to switch over. Um, and that will be when we leave pre-order, um, the very end of the pre-order, we're actually going to be shipping within just a few days, normal shipping times, um, to, at the end of January. Um, and that will be uh, $349 uh, for the device. Very cool. Again, it's Apollo, A-P-O-L-L-O, Neuro, N-E-U-R-O dot com. Catherine Fantozzi, thank you for taking the time with us. No problem. Thank you for having me. Now this. How many companies out there have continued to innovate when it comes to building a better radio? I'm Fred Fishkin, host of Text to Nation, and I'm here to tell you about the new CC SkyWave SSB radio from the wonderful people at C-Crane. Bob and his crew really love radio, and it shows in this new compact model that is packed with features. Beyond great AM and FM reception and sound, you can tune into shortwave signals from around the world. Listen to ham radio operators, aviation, and more. It's the radio you'll turn to every day and in emergencies. It will run for nearly three days on just two AA batteries. Pair the sleep timer with the new Soft Speaker 3, and you've got the perfect radio for your nightstand. Of course, it can wake you up too. Click on Crane at textination.com and put in the code textination for a free flashlight with your order. They love radio, and you'll love Crane.